Um, my name is Lil Intern Johnny. It's nice to meet you. Um, uh, today, I, I've been given the uh, immensely important job, uh, which is that, that job, and it's uh, to tell you all, all a little bit, uh, to give you a little taste of, rather, of, uh, of Tough Guy Mountain's rich history. Um, wow. <laughs> the rich Tough Guy Mountain history. So, uh, that, that, what that means, it's, well, it's not something that everyone uh, can get to do every day. So, like, I'm, I'm the person who gets to give you a taste of it, and that's really special for me. Well, I was briefed by uh, the people at Akimbo that not everyone here would uh, know about Tough Guy Mountain. And that's funny and kind of weird for me, because... Tough Guy Mountain is my whole life. Uh, I, I mean, I was the head of the Tough Guy Mountain fan club from a very young age. Uh, I, w I was a junior mountaineer. I am an honorary junior mountaineer, actually. My life dream is to someday become a, a Tough Guy Mountain intern. Uh, I, I know I said I was an intern, but it's an aspirational title I gave myself. It's, you know, uh, fake till you make it, as they say. Uh, so, anyways, uh, you don't know about Tough Guy Mountain. I do, so we're a really perfect match. Um, I, I think where I'll start, let's see, I've made this deck to uh, show you um, what Tough Guy Mountain is all about, and uh, we'll just get started here. So uh, this, oh, uh, yes, uh, this is Tough Guy Mountain presenting at the opening gala of Art Toronto in uh, 2015. Um, uh, it's a, a piece called uh, Intern, Test, Intern, Testicle, uh, Intern Testing Facility, uh, <laughs> set, set loose in a rat race like maze. A flag-bearing interns must navigate the complex world of an international art fair uh, using only crowdsourcing to determine what art they should look at and which booth attendants they should talk to. Uh, each intern is electronically tethered to a brand ambassador and an iPad containing an interactive map. Okay, yeah, you get okay. So that you get that one good. So I'll just move on to the next one. Oh, this, so this is Intern Purgatory. I love this one. So, uh, in, Intern Purgatory was developed through a production residency at... I don't know what... This isn't supposed to have... I think there might have been some sort of glitch in my power... Oh. Oh, dear. Um, so, this is... <laughs> You're not supposed to see this, and I'm not authorized to talk about this really, but uh, I, I was just going to do a presentation about the projects that we've done in the past, um, but it looks like I've accidentally fallen into a presentation about our five-year plan of the projects we're going to be doing in the future, and over here, they're actually watching me right now, and I'm, I'm not authorized to discuss the, but I'm in front, I, I mean, I can't not do a presentation, I don't know how to get back up to back up here to where my deck is. Okay, I guess I'll just, I'll, I can talk about our five-year plan, but you have to promise not to talk about it to anybody. I'll hand out some non-disclosure agreements at the end of the talk, or I don't have any with me, but maybe we can, I can get everyone's email and I can email you all, or visit your homes later, and because I need a sing, anyway. So, okay. <clears throat> I'm nervous now. No, that's all right. It's my fault. I don't know what happened. But anyway, okay, so uh, Tough Guy Mountain is um, it's a fictional uh, it's a fictional fantastic corporation that exists in another dimension, and that's that's what Intern Johnny works for. And then Tough Guy Mountain is also an art collective in Toronto um, that we create new media and uh, um, performance art, specifically performance art that is interactive in a way that is enabled by digital technology. So, uh, we've been doing, over the past four years, five years, since, I guess, 2012 we started, um, we've been doing performance art at uh, art gallery openings, parties, um, that is usually has a live component and a digital component to it. Uh, and I'm going to talk today, in this uh, forbidden presentation, about our five-year plan Going forward into the future, some of the projects we are working on uh, right now, they're in different stages of development, um, that we hope to complete over the next five years. That's sort of our, our new thing. We, Before, we would be, work on these projects for one-off events, and they would be done, and it would be fine working on them, but there's some sense of impermanence that we want to now 
replace with this grandiose five-year plan of these projects that make a bigger impact because there's, we're just adding more preparation and planning to them. Uh, so we will be monitored the whole time by the executives on the upper level through that security camera, so I'll be on my best behavior. So okay, let's step out of the five-year plan room and see where we go. So I believe first up on the, uh, in the new presentation is, um, the, is the Mount Room. Uh, this is a Facebook app that we're working on right now called Mount. And uh, we, they, what it does is it provides you with uh, your own personal intern for your own personal brand. Um, it's sort of like a, a Tamagotchi fed by your, the likes fed by the uh, reactions that you receive on Facebook. So uh, the way it would work is you log into Mount, um, like you can see in this animation here. Um, the intern calculates your most recent, all the likes from your most recent Facebook posts, uh, adds them together, and then sort of uses that likes as fuel to, well, actually you can use those likes to buy things for their office. So I'll just show you over here. You can click on this like, and then the like kind of goes up. Um, the more likes you have, the better f sort of furniture office supplies you can uh, buy for your intern. And then in turn, once your intern has uh, good enough office supplies, uh, they can then actually start making posts for you. So we're working with a very simple form of artificial intelligence called like a Markov chain, which is just basically deals in probabilities to uh, create new content based on your old content. It analyzes all the posts you've made before and then your intern will write new posts based on those old posts. Old posts. So the idea is to at once um, gamify uh, Facebook usage, provide like create this like gamified layer on top of your Facebook, uh, as well as to um, automate the usage of Facebook. So you can maintain a productive, a productive, distraction-free workday while your intern gets all your self-branding done for you on the side. Um, we're really, in, we've played with the idea of interns since like pretty much since when we got started and in our work we're very often like dealing with jokes about hierarchy, especially because there's, um, it's almost like aspirational hierarchy, like if we were a real enough organization to need a hierarchy that would be nice. Um, but yes, uh, the jokes about, and obviously intern, internships are a very real part of all of our lives being millennials. Um, so that's Mount, yes when you click on so the, there's this process of having to sort of collect raw likes and harvest them into like points that then you can exchange for uh, um, objects. Okay, sound working. Okay, so on to the next stop. So you can see Tough Guy Mountain floating off there in the distance, way below. Uh, I guess there's some office supplies that were falling through. And uh, yeah, so this is a, this is a really exciting uh, project that we are, are we are working on have been developing for a while called the board of directors and the board of directors sort of has a couple different facets to it um uh there's there's uh it is at once inspired by um our experience playing dungeons and dragons in the past and also um by our desire to find a way for the audience to even better interact with the tough guy mountain narrative and uh the what the board of directors project is 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 basically um, we would assemble a group of people to then uh, role, engage in some sort of role-playing experience with the uh, Tough Guy Mountain narrative where they would role-play as the Tough Guy Mountain board of directors and we would suggest different narrative directions to them like perhaps one employee being fired or another employee uh, being promoted or uh, a different de direction for the, for the fictional company and then they would interact with our narrative suggestions through an app, or maybe we've also thought of it as a chat room. Or uh, additionally, we've pictured this installation version, which is what we're sort of presenting here. And uh, basically what we have here is, uh, there's a portal to intern purgatory at the center of these, uh, these boardroom tables, and I'll just enter that portal now. So here I am in intern purgatory. Oh, it's very chaotic here. So it's cubicles crashing into each other. I'm on this mess of other cubicles that are all smashed together. Um, and what this does is it provides the people on the board of directors the option to choose between 
being in the uh, executive position, which is at these tables, where they are provided with a live, top-down view of what intern preparatory is, where they can make narrative decisions about the course of the uh, company, or then, alternatively, they can actually go enter into the shoes of an intern in intern preparatory, which has become this real hell right now. <laughs> um, uh, the goal being then that they're totally immersed in the narrative, um, being a part of it while also influencing it. So we've, with all these projects, we sort of are trying to present a, and project a couple different iterations of them, uh, whether or not we're building something for an installation or, or building an app uh, that can exist online. Just because, uh, yeah, I guess that's about, that's about flexibility, like searching for venues to present it in or creating things that don't need a venue to be presented in, uh, meaning that they could just be shown online. Um, so this is the board of directors, and uh, yeah, that an in the animation in the background, you can sort of see this idea of, of moving between the intern to the executive and then to the real person using the app, using the board of directors uh, app to engage with our narrative. So uh, let's fall down deep, just keep, we keep getting deeper. Deeper, deeper, into, deeper into the Tough Guy Mountain, falling down another level, and uh, we have another another part of our of our five of our five year uh, plan. Um, this is a this is a project called a post capitalist propaganda, and the uh, concept behind this project is um, Tough Guy Mountain as a sort of fictional branding company is taking on the brand of, of post capitalism and uh, and constructing propaganda to sort of um, uh, support. To, to build awareness of post-capitalism as a brand and use the language of capitalism to uh, create a sort of um, vision of an alternative to capitalism. Uh, because whatever, whatever obviously whatever post-capitalism it is, it has to in some way contain capitalism, or maybe that, that's at least, this is an exploration of that idea. Um, and so what post-capitalist propaganda is, in right now, we're imagining it as this sort of um, immersive simulation where you, uh, uh, a series of actors, like you can see these little characters in the, uh, on these projected screens, um, are in, be, uh, interacting in a simulated environment, uh, all carrying out tasks that might exist in a, a post-capitalist system. So it's uh, suggesting post-capitalism through the systematic representation of it in a simulation. Um, we're also in this, at least this installation interpretation of the project, experimenting with uh, exploded versions of virtual reality. Uh, so what I mean by that is instead of, uh, the, the problem that I see with virtual reality is this whole like, if you're presenting it in a, in a gallery space, uh, you have like a lineup of people waiting to put on the headset and like it gets all sweaty and, and only one person can see it at a time. Uh, what, what I would like to try to do is sort of explode that so you, instead of a virtual world that you're just looking at through the uh, Oculus Rift or whatever, you explode the virtual world on four sides of a cube in real space and then the person can just sort of like turn around and look at different parts of the world that's in real life surrounding them. Um, so. There's also in this in in our uh, in this demo that in this forbidden presentation that I'm showing you, there's sort of these different uh, ideas for technical presentations of our of our concepts, um, as well as the conceptual side, and that's something that we're experimenting with is like how can you as an artist use VR in a way that is um, efficient, but what, like in terms of uh, audience delivery, but then also makes use of what the uh, medium is. So this is just sort of trying to make VR a bit more tangible. Um, so that is the post-capitalist propaganda room. And we're moving on down to, so falling once more, through the clouds of office supplies, into... Hi everyone, thanks for coming out. I'm intern Stan, Stan Ribbits, and I'm here today to do a little presentation on a company called Tough Guy Mountain. I really had a nice time. You're always welcome in my office. It's so nice of you to show me your office. I still think art is important. <laughs> yes, we value it more than money and success combined. <laughs> Yes, Miss Everest. What does it say in the standard intern contract?
contract about use of image? Article 4.2. Any intern is contractually obligated to relinquish control of their brand. It's dangerous to have glass lying around. When I first got here, I just wanted everyone to like me, and you were like the most important intern, so it felt not good to be in your bad books so quickly. Oh, well, I guess I've got a lot to learn. You guessed right. Um, that was a, so that was footage from a play that we did for Summerworks in 2015. Um, uh, the play was about uh, uh, an intern on her the first day of her unpaid internship at Tough Guy Mountain. And it was also about Tough Guy Mountain um, uh, uh, taking on art as a client for uh, the, their branding. Um, so as a, like an art collective we're, uh, that is interested in branding, we've done some work about the brand of, of art itself, conceptually, and how the brand of art can be improved. And so this play was just about Tough Game on deciding that the brand of art is too, uh, too difficult to handle, and then just that instead we would replace art with our own brand, and Tough Game on would become art. But the plot is eventually foiled by uh, young intern Lisa. Um, we did this, so we did this at SummerWorks, and it was really fun. It involved projections, and but it was it's so much work. So many uh, human hours go into doing theater, and then only you know max hundred people see it a night. So uh, in our goal now is to build theater um, in virtual reality, uh, specifically musicals. We like we like musicals a lot. So. I'll just show you this quickly. Where there lies a dusty garden by cosmic spy. Secret plot points, the story of my life. It's time to find out who I really am. So this is this sort of like, uh, this is just a little, uh, this, uh, I call them portal orbs that take you into these 3D spaces. Where or sorry, yeah, 360 degree immersive spaces uh, for if you're if you do uh, this sort of stuff work in Unity. It's like a sphere with a uh, just the, the 360 video just textured onto the inside of the sphere. Um, another one over here. So this is just one thing that we're experimenting with as a way of presenting uh, theater in. Um, Virtual reality. We're in, I'm obviously as well like interested in this sort of combination of unreal-looking uh, characters um, with, uh, yeah, un unreal or sorry, people filmed on a green screen and then presented in these hyper-real spaces, just like juxtaposing those two things together because it also gives it this theatery feel. Hi everyone, thanks um, for coming out. Uh, yeah, we're we're hoping. Look at different ways to present this would be through 360 videos, for example, or a combination of 360 video and 3D space, like we're doing in this uh, uh, room. Uh, and then also in a gallery, it can be presented on a, a Rift or, or a Vive or uh, whatever it is. Um, or a more interactive version, ideally, the, the again, five year plan, thinking in the future what we can do, a more interactive version where the audience is actually interacting with the uh, characters who are performing in, in the play. Um, maybe maybe uh, in influencing them in such a way that changes their behavior or affects their mood and how they are responding to the story. Um, so it's, yeah, we actually all, we might, uh, I come from like a th mostly doing theater in my background, so I'm, this is why I'm interested in bringing theater to, into virtual reality into a digital space in general where you can get a much bigger audience to see your stuff and it's much uh, you don't really have to ask you don't have to ask people to rehearse every day for <laughs> weeks at a time uh, um, and yeah the, like theater has been this through fair since high school doesn't crash. yes okay so here we are <laughs> my last uh, so uh, finally, in our five-year plan, the five-year plan co coincides coincidentally with a five-year lease we signed in our commercial space where uh, we've located our studio. It's at Dupont and Dufferin. It's called uh, it's 
called the Brandscape. And um, the Brandscape is a, a space for us to do our uh, work in. We have a, a green screen uh, slash um, uh, white cyclo wall for uh, filming, uh, as well as um, uh, sort of commu uh, community space for events, um, workshops, specifically like uh, as we specifically do sort of game design for artists or VR for artists workshops, uh, as well as, um, uh, yeah, the, the desire is to sort of make something that is like an incubator for um, people working with technology to make um, to make digital art the way that uh, the way that we like to do it, and it started. Uh, guess we opened in December, pretty much, um, and um, we're hoping over the next, uh, the ideal would just sort of be to use it as some sort of platform to include more people into our project, and, and as well as like uh, sharing whatever skills we have to offer. Um, you can go to, we have a website, brandscape.club, um, where all these pictures are from. And here is, this is what it looks like when we have nice parties. All your friends are there. And so I think if I exit through this door, yeah, we're back at the beginning of the presentation. She can't blown out too much. But yeah, thank you very much. Yeah.